In the last video, I talked about the J-stroke and how important it was, uh, not only in itself for traveling a distance, but it's the foundation of a whole family of strokes. And today what I'm gonna look at is the second of that family. The Indian stroke, sometimes known as the hunting stroke or the quiet stroke, but it is a stroke that we use for being quiet. It is a stroke that we can use when we're watching wildlife, but it's also a control stroke. So if I'm on a whitewater river, I'm in an eddy, getting bounced around a bit, I don't want to take my paddle out of the water. And the Indian stroke is a way of controlling it. And in this film, and there is one instance I'll show you where I'm actually being buffeted by the wind and I use the Indian stroke to control the boat. So it can be used silently, it's an elegant stroke, but it's also a really good control stroke when you need that control all that much. If we need a J stroke with massive steering, we'll put the blade right up on its edge, but most of the time we will have a slight angle on the blade and that makes life easier. But in this stroke, the Indian stroke, we go up onto its edge every single time. And we get some of the steering at the back, but this is where it gets interesting. Instead of lifting the blade out of the water, I slice the blade forward, and at the same time, the top hand is rotated onto the other face, come in on the other, the alternative blade face, and we go back again to another up on its edge J stroke. Slice it forward, and looking at the top hand, the top hand rotates during the stroke to make life easier on the return. And that rotation of the top hand is called a palm roll. And one thing that is really important to remember is that we alternate the blade faces for power. On the one face there, slice forward, and now we turn on to the other blade face. Going back to using the stroke in its silent version, then really what we're de depending on to make it silent is not getting any disturbance of water around here. I'm doing everything slowly. In fact, so much so, instead of using my hands, I begin to use my fingertips for grip. So in that case, I may even lift the power core slightly out of the water so the water only runs around the blade and doesn't run around this part of the paddle. As I do the stroke, I start using my fingertips much more than my hands to make it more delicate. I have surprised one or two wild animals like this. I've made sure they were really small ones, not anything big. One of the other things with this stroke is it's not just about being able to travel in a straight line. It may be that once we've actually got to the back of the boat, our slice, rather than being straight along here, our slice could be outwards, and then I could do a bow draw, or maybe a C stroke in under the boat, go to the back, and again repeat that. And I could use that either to pull a turn to that side, or if the wind hits the boat and is beginning to push the nose that way, I could use it to control the nose. So again, it isn't just a quiet stroke, it's a control stroke. Importantly, we need to leave that steering at the back just for a second or two, so we steer the back of the boat before we slice it forward. If we just go to the back and then come forward, then we're not steering the back of the boat, and gradually the back of the boat will begin to slide into a skid. So remember, take it back, hold it for a second or two, get the steering before you slice forward. In this sequence, the wind is really beginning to buffet me. I've moved over to the beaver tail paddle, which gives me a bigger grip, 
but you can see in each stroke I'm really having to slice it out and get a bit of a bow drawing to hold the nose and spend an extra time at the stern to actually hold the boat on course. Clear. The Indian stroke can be used as the very first one in a sequence to get the boat running in a straight line. In this case, Lena's continuing with the stroke, but could easily have swapped on to another one if her objective was to pick up speed. And yet again, showing the Indian stroke, there's the gust, and Lena's using a bit of a bow draw, very turny boat this one, and so using the Indian stroke with a draw element to hold it on course. If you've enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, please click on the icon in the bottom right corner.